It's nicknamed the baby blues, but that doesn't really capture the difficulties women with postpartum depression deal with. The condition is described as intense sadness, anxiety, or even despair some mothers feel up to the first year after giving birth. According to the American Psychological Association, around one in seven women experience postpartum depression. Symptoms can appear days or even months after childbirth and without treatment. These symptoms can last for several weeks or months. Pocket News reporter Madeline Haller talked with experts about the condition and how this new drug could help. Women who experience postpartum depression often feel alone or misunderstood while dealing with their newfound feelings. For some, it's a challenge to pinpoint that they need help outside of their home. I spoke with professionals who recognize that the FDA's approved postpartum drug is a major medical innovation. The FDA's postpartum drug, Zulresso, is marketed to cost between $20,000 and $35,000, not including the cost of the hospital stay. Deanne Davies of Summit Health says the medical community is excited about the FDA's decision to make this drug available. We know that some women benefit from being involved in support groups, some benefit from therapy interactions, and some benefit from use of uh, pharmaceuticals. So. We, we are very hopeful. I don't know that this drug is one that we necessarily say is going to fix everything, but it sure does take us down the right road. The drug is administered through IV over a two and a half day period. Sharla Best, Chief Executive Officer of Women's Health Innovations of Arizona, says there is not enough resources with those suffering with postpartum depression in Arizona. A lot of times moms have a hard time um, kind of talking about what's going on. There's such a stigma associated. So if they talk to their doctor and their doctor doesn't know where to send them, um, we have created those relationships so that way the doctors know exactly where to send moms. Women's Health Innovations of Arizona was created to better serve men, women, and families, including those who experience mood disorder after pregnancy. The combination of support, medication, um, counseling, those are usually the best kind of method in terms of getting families and women as well as possible so quickly. We need to shift our thinking and shift our practice to include more of what is supported. In Arizona, the rate of women who experience postpartum depression fares slightly below the national average at nearly 13%. Based off the clinical trials, the approved drug is said to work within hours opposed to weeks or months. In the Broadcast Center, Madeline Holler, Cronkite News.